On May 26, 2017, at 25 years young, I was diagnosed with 15% chance to live at least five more years. The cancer is a tongue twister. It's called desmoplastic small round cell tumor, or DSRCT for short. It's a sarcoma contrary to the carcinomas. Sarcomas are 1% of all the cancers and 99, and carcinomas are 99% of all the cancers in the world. I just freshly graduated with a master's degree in safety science a week or so prior to receiving the news. Also, at the time, I was madly in love with my girlfriend and on my way to becoming a very successful professional in the safety OSHA industry. I felt shocked. I never went to the doctors for anything since I was born. I felt speechless. I partied all the time and thought I would live forever. I felt like a rug was pulled from under me. I made a 10 year plan. The feeling of fear, sadness, anger, anxiety, and all those other emotions you would assume someone gets when they first receive the news were sort of absent. During the first hour of knowing my diagnosis, I was only focused on making sure that my girlfriend, who was the only one there at the time, was happy. Instinctually, I proposed to her, thinking that this would turn her day around, that she doesn't have to be sad anymore. Also, I figured if I ended up dying, at least I can get someone a green card to live in the United States, away from her terrible parents in Taiwan. She told me her parents have always treated her this way since she could remember. One and a half years later, I'm in the hospital and it's now the newest, most influential time of my life from the first that I just spoke to you about. Pain, starvation, insomnia, dehydration, and unable to walk 10 feet without feeling the urge to collapse. I'm missing my best friend's wedding that I'm the best man for because I'm living on the fourth floor of Santa Monica St. John's Hospital. Also, my wife, who I wanted to rescue from her terrible parents in Taiwan, has just asked me for a divorce via email in the middle of the afternoon. Can you find the good in any of this? During that time, I did something that I've never done before or I've shared with anyone since then. I'm not a poet, but here's my perspective from those times. Growing inside of me, I see not. Stranger inside of me, making me rot. I see you now through computer imagery, shown to me and proven by chemistry. I see you now, but I'll see you later. For your stay inside of me will wither and waver. But you haven't left completely. You've had me gain something discreetly. A sort of knowledge, you can say. A sort of wisdom learned through each day. I guess you can say you're my silver lining. Something better than wine and dining. Something that can't be bought or sold something that I'll take with me until I'm old. And I thank you, stranger, for that. My hate and love for you is flat. I see you made me into this, a better person in bliss.